Hi, in this video, I will going to discuss about the use of the different arithmetic operators in the C. So, what are the different arithmetic operators in the C? Arithmetic, okay. Arithmetic operators. Operators in C. What are they? So, we have for addition, we have this plus. For subtraction, we have minus. For multiplication, we have the asterisk symbol. And, you know, uh, we have division slash and for modulus remainder we have the modulus operator okay right so let us you know use all these operators and we'll see how it is going so uh, let us declare, declare some variables so let declare uh, in you know num1 uh, comma num2 okay yes let us say num1 equal to uh, 10 and num2 equal to 20 yes right now so first what we're going to do is addition addition of two numbers right using which using the plus operator the operator okay so for that okay let us declare one variable called as sum so we have sum equal to num1 plus num2 so call them printf okay uh, yeah the sum of two numbers numbers i'll show you something two numbers what are the two numbers percentage d and percentage d is percentage d okay so what i want to write here is the sum of two numbers 10 and 20 is 30 so 10 where it is there it is there in num1 so we write num1 okay where 20 is there num2 okay where is the summation? It is in the sum. So I did S U M sum. Right? So fine. Let us execute it and see. Okay, see. Right? The The sum of two, there are two. I should say, uh, sorry, it should has to be, needs to be as okay. Sum of two numbers, <coughs> ten and twenty is thirty. Okay, yes. So percentage D as I was telling, right? Percentage D this is the for my specific value. Which whom for whom num one, the first value. Then percentage D for whom the num two, the num two, the second value, and then we have the the sum okay so we have done the addition now we'll use the subtraction okay subtraction subtraction uh, P -R -A. subtraction of, of two numbers okay so what is that? Minus operator. Okay. So for subtraction, I declare the variable called difference. Difference equal to num1 minus num2. Okay. So here I say another variable difference. Okay. So next again, let me copy this. So it will be easier for me to quickly okay. the difference. I will write difference of two numbers that is 10 and 20 is equal to the DIF of the dish. Yes. So num1 minus num2. So 10 minus 20. It should give minus. It should give minus. 
So let execute and see. The sum of two numbers, it is there, and the difference of two numbers, all these are coming in the you know same line. I want to make this in the next line. In order to do so, I will use an ASCAP sequence, which I will discuss in the later classes. Is called new line is this slash n. So I will put here also one slash n. Okay. Yes. So close. See. So this slash n means it will move into the the cursor will move into the next line. So next line, the difference of the two number will come, and again the cursor will move to the next line. Okay. See. The sum of two number 10 and 20 is 30. The difference of two number 10 and 20 is minus 10. So now let us do for the multiplication. Annual multiplication of two numbers. Two numbers, what is the operator? This operator, okay. Great. So for that I declare a variable mult equal to num1 into num2. Okay. So here also I say mu l. Okay, mu l right. So similarly the product of the two numbers, right? The multiplication on the product. Okay. So the mul multiplication of two number okay num1 and num2 will be given by mul okay yes right <coughs> let us do the division and then we'll see again okay. so division division of two numbers okay so num using what okay the slash operator okay. so for that division I write d equal to num1 divided by num2 an interesting thing is there I will show you so let's say d also is a integer okay great okay so like I will say okay Right, your yes, slash n is there. Okay, great. So division, the division of two numbers. Okay, number num two is div. So I have I declared div. Okay, done. Right, so I declared as integer. Let's see what happens. So this is ten. Okay. So we have the sum of two numbers already discussed 30 difference is minus 10 multiplication of the two number 10 and 20 is 200 and division of 10 by 20 is 0 but what happens so 10 divided by 20 it should be 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 but this is what the thing is because it is an integer division okay so it will not come so the in actually it should the value should be 0 0.5 okay so the value should be 0 0.5 right this should be the value right but since this is only integer now one is an integer this one is an integer so in integer division it will only give the integer part that is the reason why you are saying that you are seeing only zero is coming okay now if i put this as you know div also as you know float div also as float so float variable f l o a t float and d i v okay right so now i have to change this as percent is f okay what will be the output do you think again it will come as 0 0.5 or it will come as 0 because here i was i'm repeating this is an integer this is an integer so and the integer division the integer division will always be the integer part okay let's see It's going to see it's coming 0 0.0000. 0. 
the integer part is giving followed by since we are saying percent is f right as i was telling you so other part is coming okay right yes so how will i going to make it 0 0.5 so in order to make it 0 0.5 this is to our integer division this has to be changed to float so let us say this is float okay f l o a t float right so 10 point point zero zero let's say i should be Okay, so now we have here yeah, all will be having F. All specify will change to F. <coughs> this has been changed to F. Okay, sorry. F. Now we have here F. We have F. Okay. Right. Okay. See, float. Yeah. So even and now this will also become one we will put it as a right float okay right so float will be yeah great so i forgot to put the returns which is necessary returns okay so i will execute the program right now you see it is coming 0 0.5 and race all are coming in, you know, uh, as I was telling, because we have not used the format specifier. So let me put the format specifier here. Uh, point two. Uh, sorry, this is, has been done. Uh, point two. Point two. Point two. Okay. Save. Now let us run. Some top two number is 30.0. The difference, okay. Here also we have to put the format specifier. So it will be minus 10.0200 and 0 0.5. Okay, let's do it. Uh, 0 save i will execute the program yes okay so you have 10.00 10.20.0030 minus 10.0 okay so now here we have 200 and here we have 0 0.50 yes okay so now we have discussed about you know plus operator you know the minus operator uh the what is a multiplication operator and the division operator okay in the next video i will discuss about you know the modulus operator i hope you have understood so any first one important thing that you should if if there is an integer division then only the integer part will come so it was 10 divided by 2 so it was it should be 1 divided 10 divided by sorry 10 10 divided by 20 it should have come around 0 0.5 so in since both are integer in the integer division only integer part comes so that's the reason why 10 you know 10 divided by 20 in the integer device which come around 0 0.5 actually it is coming nothing but the 0 okay right so in order to have the 0 0.5 we are putting into the float limit okay so this is one of the most important that you should remain remember integer division only will give you the integer part okay hope you have enjoyed the video thank you and in the next uh, uh, video we'll be discussing about the modulus operator